Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Gran Turismo 5. Today is episode number four. Hopefully, you guys do enjoy. Right, so today, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be starting out with some of the licenses. We're going to be doing the entire of the B license. The first one is a 200 meter stopping challenge. Right, so we are starting the first license. We've got to get used to how a car accelerates and brakes by bringing the car to a halt in the stopping area 200 meters down the track. So we're aiming for 13.3 seconds. Hopefully it goes all right. We're in a bit for this though. Go, go, go. Gosh, this is slow. Bronze. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. I think I'm going to uh, retry that. Let's go again. See if we can do a little bit better. Let's go. Go, 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 go. Start. Right, I'm not even going to steer this time. Oh, that was exactly this. That was worse. Mm. How did we do that? That was so much worse. I can't be beaten by this. This is simple. Okay, silver. We got silver. Okay, we'll do that. That was crazy though. Right, we are now going to be practicing our steering technique for this one. And we're in a 147 Alfa Romeo. I don't know why, but I like the look of the 147. It's quite a meaty, mean looking car. Right, round we go. Hey, was that gold? Nice, gold first try. Awesome. I will take that. That is a achievement unlocked. There wasn't an achievement though. I'm sad now. I should have got an achievement for that. Right, now we are going to be practicing the out-in-out out technique, the most basic of cornering lines. We're in a Suzuki Swift Sport. Um, the Suzuki Swift is actually quite a nice car. Listen to that turbo. There isn't even a turbo in this. What? I heard a turbo noise. Out. In. Perfect. Out. 26.6, we got bronze. But I think at the start, I did lift the pedal a little bit. So I think I may do that again. We should get a better time. Right, start. Just start straight away. Go! So much faster off the line. And there you go, that's where we left, left the pedal slightly. That was terrible! Ah! 26.4, silver. I think we can get gold. I think we can get gold. We'll do one more attempt. That's what we always do. If we're nearly there, we'll do one more attempt. It doesn't hurt to try it a couple of times. 
And this video I'm planning to be quite a bit longer anyways. Go! Right. Are the cars further ahead? I'll ask go. Still slower. Still slower. Okay. I think we'll leave it at that for now, at the silver. Um, we can always come back another time. Let's go on to the next license. Right, so we are now practicing our approach in a corner at a high speed. Um, I think we're on the Fuji circuit. No, we're not. Oh, I don't recognize this circuit. Well, we are in a Civic Type R. We got 13.8 seconds to B. Oh, okay. We can definitely do better. I love this game though, it is literally gold has to be perfect, silver is with a slight mishap, and bronze is anything that's, if you've gone slightly wide, it, you can't recover, kind of thing. So close again, 14.031. Oh, I think we're going to have to leave this one for now. We got a bronze, so we've completed it. Right, so we are now on to a basic corner in theory. Slow in, fast out. Let's see, how well does this go? Cool, 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 cool. Terrible. I'm not even carrying that on. I'm gonna restart straight away. To be fair, we are in a 207 GTI, so it's a pretty slow car. That was much better. Still only bronze though. How are you supposed to get 18.9? That is a very quick time to get. Very quick. So I think we're just going to go straight on to the next one for now. Right, so we're now in a Renault Megane Sport. We are exited from a looping corner. I don't actually know what a looping corner is. I've played racing games for so long and I don't know what a looping corner is. Right, on to the brakes. Terrible. Just terrible. Bronze medal again. Unbelievable. Right, let's try again. We can try that one again. Easy. There was so much we could improve on. Right. Come on, little Renum again. Don't ruin us again. Oh my gosh. Yes, silver medal. I knew we could improve it. Didn't improve it much though. What, half a second? Half a second, that's a lot of time. That's a lot of time in a race. Right, we are doing high speed driving lines and accelerator control now on the autumn ring. Hopefully the little Golf GTI can withstand this. Yeah, I see where the throttle control comes in. Could you 
can't go full pelt through that section. Though, to be fair, we did mess it up completely and we were only 0.5 of a second off. So I feel like we could easily regain one and a half seconds. Easy. Let's do it again. Let's try again. Just got silver. Just look at that. Zero zero point zero two three seconds. That was so close. Wow. Right, next license. Right, so we need to find the driving liner through a S bend, and we are taking the Honda S two thousand this time. Nice. Brakes. Very quick there. Oh. Oh, a bit slow through there. Right, so we have now got to overtake whilst using slipstreams. Let's go and give this a try. We've got to come first. Or second. Come on. Right. Sticking it behind the BMW gives us enough speed. Right. We're now slipstreaming this car. Why have you moved over like that? I now can't get behind the Audi to... There we go, there we go. First place. That is how slipstreaming is done. Awesome. I will take the XP that comes with that. Thank you very much. Right, on to the final license. Let's go. Right, so now what we need to do in this Honda CRZ, we need to overtake. Wow, we need to get first, third, or ninth for gold, silver, and bronze, respectively. Oh, I've just noticed there's a little icon for battery, I think, in the corner. Come on, come on. Nice. Are we going to overtake any more cars? Come on. Nice. We're trying to catch up the slipstream of these cars up ahead. I'm going to rely on this white car here. Come on, come on. Yes! We're in first, we're in first, come on! Nice, that is how it's done. Awesome! We got a gold medal on the final one, which is good. At least we got a gold on the last uh, license. Test complete. Right, let's see how much XP we got for that. Oh, we got quite a fair chunk. Nice. Right, let's exit. Do we get a reward for passing and come in, finish, like, passing all the events? I hope there's a little reward. In it. Oh. Congratulations. You've completed the B license. Now you can enter more races and prepare yourself for the next challenge, the A license. Oh, nice. 
The A license is level three. Okay, cool. So we got more races, apparently. Can we? What races have we unlocked? Is there more under here, then? Oh, National B license. There we go. There's our achievement. Beginner series. Mm, there's nothing new here. But what we are going to do is we are going to go onto this Vitz race on the Fuji Speedway. Um, we're going to swap to our Vitz. I think we've upgraded it a little bit. I'm not sure. Maybe we could go and chuck on a couple of upgrades. I think that might help us. Uh, help us quite a lot, actually. Nah, let's go straight into it. Right, we are here at the Fuji Speedway F. The track length is 2.84 miles, so our total distance is going to be 8.5. This is going to be a long race. I'm looking forward to it as well. Two, one, go. Right, let's do this. Our little Vitz is pulling away. Oh my gosh, the engine noise though. There is no engine in this car. Whoa, okay. That didn't go so well. We're now in last place. <laughs> That's a brilliant start off the start line there. Right, nice, come on. Picking up some speed through here onto the brakes. Weaving through the cars. I had to think what they were called then. Back in first place. That's how it's done. Right, onto the brakes. Nice. Perfect. onto the brakes very nice around the corner perfect this race is going to take at least six minutes I'll probably say what's that is that a Prius over there Ugh, Prius if you drive a Prius uh disco stank The thing is though, this game has so much in it. Like there are so many races, there's so many different things to do. And it's just awesome to play again after, I mean the last time I played this was probably eight years ago. So a very long time ago. And coming back to it, it's just so much fun. go nice 2.24 on that two minutes 24 seconds not 2.24 seconds that would be crazy imagine a car doing a lap that quick that'd be nearly impossible Oh, we've gone a bit wide on the corner there. Nice. Perfect. Tap of the brakes through there. Hard onto the brakes for this corner. It's surprising though, even though it's a tiny little hatchback, it still can't take corners quicker than a massive, like, Mustang. Which can go round corners at like 60, and this can only go at 40. It's crazy. On to the brakes. Tight hairpin corner around here. I hate that corner. Like the Fuji Speedway, I don't like that little bit because it slows cars down to like 20 miles an hour, and some cars can't even make that corner. 
some of them are just like too big of a turning circle to be able to do that. Perfect. It is a weird experience playing with X and square buttons though. It, it sort of doesn't feel right. Almost. Almost doesn't feel right. I see this lap time. It's going to be slow again. I know it. <laughs> oh, this is so tedious. I could do this in like one frame a second and it would still look slow nice and onto the brakes Tap of the brake through there. Nice. And onto the brakes again. Oh, let's get around that corner, please. Thank you. Awesome. We are aiming to be at 2 minutes 15 for this lap making the best lap yet. We haven't gone off the track so far as well. Now that I've said that, we're going to go off the track at this hairpin corner, I can guarantee you. As soon as you say something like that, it's like tempting fate. Nicely done. Perfect. Just tap in the curbs a little bit there, through there. Picking up speed, come on, speed is key. And come on, finish line. The finish line can come slower if it tried. There we go, 214.057. That was nearly a seven minute race. That was so much longer than I was expecting. And it only gave us 5,730. Brilliant. Great. One super long race that was equivalent to the length of time of three races gave me the amount of one of those races. Oh, uh, you gotta love it. Right, uh, next up we're gonna go to the specials. We're sort of mixing this up. We're doing a bit of everything for this episode. Oh, great. We got a Prius. My special prize was a Prius. Great. Right, we're going to the AMG Driving Academy for this one. Um, so we've obviously got beginner, intermediate, advanced, and expert. Um, obviously leveling up. Um, what do we? Okay, so we upgrade, unlock the advanced. Ah, so they're all at different stages. Right, let's go to the AMG Drivers Lesson. Oh, there's five lessons. Interesting. You'll be driving the first section. Okay, cool. Let's go. We'll be learning about the Nürburgring. That's nice. Right, so we are here at the first sector of the Nürburgring Nordschleife. We've got to do a 1 minute 36 time for gold. Let's do this. Oh, I love the look of this car. Such a nice car. The fact is, this car came out in like, what, the 1950s? And it's faster than any of the other cars that we've driven so far.
Oh, he's got every single corner as well. Hansenbach. I'm trying to say it with a German accent, but it's it's going to sound dreadful. Go okay, nice, nice, nice. Going through the corners. Very nice there. I do know a little bit of... Oh, Hoshine. No, that sounded Chinese. What? <laughs> I can't do accents. Um, I know a little bit of the Nordsch life, but not very well. Um, so normally whenever I do a Nordsch life race, I'm doing it um, just off of sight. Like that. Ah, oh, that was terrible. I'm hoping that hasn't messed up my silver chance. It's messed up my gold chance, definitely. But hopefully not my silver. I think we're coming up to a hairpin, though. I do remember this bit. Oh, it's making us go round the hairpin as well to get to the final. Thirty-nine. 40. We got the silver. Very nice. Right. On to the next sector then. Right, so time-wise we're aiming for a 221 or a 231. Um obviously 221 is gold, that means we have to be very accurate. Let's do this. I love the Nordsch life big time. It's such a good track. Right, onto the brakes. Nice. I'm kind of surprised though that Mercedes, the Mercedes part is done on the Nordschleife. Um, I was sort of expecting, um, is it Hockenheim? I was sort of expecting that. Stay on the track, stay on the track. We definitely needed that throttle management there. Apparently this sector as well, um, from the information that was on the uh, start screen, um, this sector is one where Nicky Lauda had a crash somewhere. I'm not sure where, but it was back in 1979, and that's all it said. So... Nice, very nice. Perfect corner there. Does this car have an interior cam? <gasps> it does. Oh my gosh, look at that. Look how nice that looks. That is posh. Right, I'm just looking out for the um, finishing bit. Nice, nice, onto the brakes. Perfect. Oh no, 21. We hit 221. Shit, we were slow. We nearly hit 231 as well. But there we go, silver. Very nice. Very nice paycheck there. On to the next sector. Right, so we are now aiming for 2 minutes and 7 seconds or 2.16. Hopefully, hopefully we get silver again. Gold would be a nice treat, but silver, I will accept that. Nice, nice, come on. Speed is key. Speed is always key. Kessel shed. I think that's what that says. Right, onto the 
great. Nice. The fact is, there are so many of these challenges and it just makes this game so fun. Like, cause you, you're always pushing yourself to be better in this. I mean, you should do that anyways, but like in this game, it tries to get you to push harder, try better, until you get it. And it's just so good. Perfect. We got the carousel just right. But whenever I drive classic cars in a game, I always go careful. Like, if I crash it, it's going to cost me a million pounds in real life. I don't know why. I always do it. I mean, to be fair, it is to do the car justice. Like, the car shouldn't be wrecked around. It is a classic. And I see the time getting very close to two minutes and seven. And I can't even see a finish yet. It's getting close to 16 as well. There's the finish. 2.11. We've got that silver though, which is very good. I'm glad we got the silver. Right, onto the final sector then. Right, so we are now onto the final sector of the Nürburgring Nordschleife. we got to beat a time of 2.41. I'm not even going to bother saying the gold because I know it's not going to happen. Let's go. Oh yeah, we got the long straight on this uh, sector. Nice. Awesome. Brakes, brakes. Perfect. It's surprising how quick these cars are. And it's impressive that what happened all those years ago with car technology and stuff like that. To be fair, if I was to list a historic car that changed cars back in the 50s, this would be the car. Like, there's no other car that defined high speed racing today like this no other car can do it oh we're on to straight see that's weird because most games the Nordschleife life is represented very differently um around about the sectors, but this looks very realistic from this angle. We are redlining though. And I can't control how fast this is going. This is as fast as it will go. Surprisingly, that corner has a name. Tiergarten. I see the finish coming up, though. Where is it? There you are. And across the line. 236.221 and that will do it for today's episode I think uh, if you join us in the next one we'll do the entire lap
So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe. If you want to keep up to date with all the stuff going on on the Mechanic CG channel, then be sure to go take a look in the description for links of socials and all sorts of other places. And also we have finally got merch down there, so go check that out. And if you want to help support the channel, hit that join button, it means the world to me. And I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.